I'd do that. I've done that so many years. Seven. Welcome to the Just Give Me the Mic Show, and I am your host, Deborah Coco. And if you do not know about Just Give Me the Mic, what we do here is highlight positive people doing positive things throughout our communities and worldwide. And we strive to bring you the best interview experience that there is. So again, so again, I want to thank everyone for their support. And what I would like for you to do is sit back, sit back, relax, relax. And enjoy the show. Enjoy the show. Relax and enjoy the show, everybody. Thank you again for your support. <laughs> welcome, welcome, welcome back to the Just Give Me the Mic show. I hope everyone is doing well. And uh, you know, feeling good. 2024 is off to a great start. A lot of good things happening. And I know I'm feeling good today, even though it's pouring like I don't know what outside, y'all. But I am here. That's how I let y'all know I'm dedicated to the craft. The weather don't stop. Nothing. Because I'm always on the move. And I'm still out here doing the things that I love. I have a great show lined up for you today. We're doing an artist spotlight for this segment. We have an artist from Harlem. You know, but he reps all boroughs, though, you know, truth be told. But he's here. He's going to do some performances for us and tell us his story and tell us about his journey, his path, and all the things that, you know, he's gone through that led him to where he's at today. So my guest, be, be like Mike. I want y'all to check out the performance, and we'll be right back. And we're going to sit down and have a little conversation, y'all. Check him out. Okay. Let's go. Let's go. Uh huh. Let's go. Uh, look, look. First things first, let me loosen up. I do it up, single to the end of the verse, then I'ma pull it up. Done counting all this green, gotta blow it up. Even though I'm homie for real, so I'ma suit it up. Niggas say they pros, what my presence is Pro Max. Still do two at a time, they call them Bow Jacks. Money in the streets, cause there's no tax. Niggas say they do what I do, but it's no facts. They so whack, they get tossed and chewed. For that green, I'ma play like a Boston do my ultimatum. When it's game time, I'm more Tatum. But when it's time to defend New York, I'm more Mason. Huh? What we doing? I see you hating. Niggas screwing. What? Come on. Be like. Collective. And what we doing? What we doing? I see they hating. Niggas screwing. What? Let's go. Bronx, let me see how you feel it. Look. I'm blowing money fast like I'm Michio. I'm in the club. I'm surrounded by some freaky hoes. But it started in the trenches. I was knee deep in the game. Try to die like it was Jeezy though. Can't stop from no. Back on the strip, it's cop and go. I'm by silent, so I rock and roll. Fuck around, let the rockets blow. Change harder when it comes to the flow. And I ain't shooting the miss. I'm here to put a nigga shoes in a light bulb. Couple shots, help you lose weight faster than light bulb. What you get when you fuckin' with Mike, though? I ain't right. Don't think a nigga cool, cause I'm chillin' with all this ice. It's when you fighting for your life. Have to feeling like a Yeezy when you fighting for the strike. And you niggas never low. Get to flying out the kites. Too much shit going on. So we flying out the night. night. What? Come on. Yeah. Huh? What we doing? How we moving? Come on. Huh? Yeah. Collective. Brown boy, you up? Be like. Be like. Yeah. All right. Thank you for opening up the show. And let me welcome my first guest, Be Like, to the show. Thank you. All right. You know what? I enjoyed that performance. You know, I like the look, the Harlem swag and the flavor that you got. Now, what you said was you've been doing music for quite some time, yeah. going way back. Yeah. Since okay. A kid, since a youngin. That's a, got a lot of music. 
in my family and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. yeah. So from what I read in your bio, like your uncle, was he like an inspiration for you to get started? Yeah, my uncle, my grandfather, my grandfather was a moon glow. Okay. You know what I'm saying? My uncle was in a rap group um, and just a lot of influences outside of them as well. Mm -hmm. you know? And just being like, I would say the city period, like mm -hmm. every borough, there was like an explosion of different sounds and That's music. So you couldn't go to the park, you couldn't go yeah. nowhere without hearing some type of beat or sound. That's so how That's could you not be influenced? Like I was a dancer, so okay. that's how I was, I was influenced, yeah, when right. I was younger. Okay. So who did you like? Like when you initially got introduced to hip hop or, or music in general, who were some of your favorites coming up? First, I gotta say KRS One. Yes. Number one. Yes. You know, KRS One was one of the fillest MCs that he could go all topics and still sound good. Mm -hmm. Um, of course, Rock Him. Right. You know, uh, Wu Tang, mm. Tupac. Tupac is like one of my favorite artists all the time as well. Right. I like a variety because I'm a Gemini, so I, I, I'm versatile. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So. Those are some heavy hitters, dog. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So Those are some heavy hitters in the mm -hmm. game because me growing up in the Bronx, you know, hearing KRS One, mm -hmm. definitely I felt good about my That's borough. You know That's what I'm saying? Fact. They made you feel good about who we were as That's people coming up, right? Respectfully. Not only did they represent, like, influence our mute, the way we dress and mm -hmm. how we talked and everything mm -hmm. else, I think that era that we came up in with music was, like, the most the, the most the influential, influential mm -hmm. time period, That's I would say, fact. right? That's a fact. But I, and then when you think about music as a whole, I guess this generation could say the same thing, too, mm -hmm. even though we may not mm -hmm. be into the, tr the trap, the mm -hmm. twerking and all that, but mm -hmm. I guess the people coming up is influenced by that same as well, thing, right? right? Same kind. We was impressionable, right. Right? right? All right, so as you started getting into music, like, was you part of a group? Was you a solo artist? How did you move? I mean, in the beginning, I, I dealt with a lot of different managements and a diff different teams and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm a type of person to have, I have a lot of, I have a lot of variety of friends. So, you know, I got the Spanish, my Spanish friends, I got my Haitian friends. So I was influenced by all of them as well. Different music, mm -hmm. different backgrounds, it all shaped me to be the artist of who I am. So I'm not afraid to push the limits because of that. You know what I'm saying? And mix that all up into right, your sound. That's right. how you create your exactly, sound. Exactly. And you're right. When I was young, I used to go to Brooklyn. I heard a mm -hmm. lot of calypso. Exactly. You know, and different mm -hmm. and Jamaican music. Mm -hmm. That's how I fell in love with like Jamaican yeah, artists. I love Jamaican right. Music. So I like every borough you went to kind of represented different things, Period. you know? Period. So that was dope. Period. So what is your sound? What is some of if you was to describe your music, like how would you describe Realism. Realism, okay. I speak my I speak my mind, speak my truth. Okay. It's not fabricated in my raps. Can't get it dieted for nothing because all my crimes was is done. So well, I would talk what thing. I want to talk. Yeah, <laughs> yeah like, that's a good facts. thing. Like, Spreak, speak is free will. I would talk you what know? I talk. Right. You know? But it, 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 my music is just basically like a hood Bible mm -hmm. to anybody that I'm here to show people. You know how I came up is not the way I want to go out. Right. You know what I'm saying? How I came up, it's my circumstances, it was beyond my control. Mm -hmm. But however, you know, I speak my life into my music and I give people a lot of jewels and stuff like that to follow. Hopefully, okay. you know. So you share your story hoping that others could avoid That's certain situations, learn some lessons, you know. Yeah, because I wish I had a lot. Well, I can't say I wish because I did have MCs like me, but I wish there was more of that presence, you mm -hmm. know, because like you was just saying with the trap and the other music genres, there's nothing wrong with them, but you know, they need more guidance. They need more people to help them with their direction because it's like they stick into one genre. They're not trying to expand their their talents. You right. Know, so. Well, I guess it's based on what type of artist you are mm -hmm. and what you want, how you want to be perceived in the game, right? Exactly. Some people want to rap and do things based on the latest trends, mm -hmm. right? Some people want to tell a message, give mm -hmm. a message. So I guess artists have to realize they have that choice. That's a fact. And if how you, are you going to use it mm -hmm. and how you want people to see you in the street. Nothing. There's nothing wrong with that. So do you think that changed with you with age or do you think you came out the gate like that wanting to share a message with your people that followed you? I feel like it's it, it was the same since young, but it just transgressed, mm -hmm. if, it, if it makes sense. You know, like, like I always wanted to drop the message, but it's like the older I got, I also got a lot of knowledge and a lot of wisdom. So it just basically built up that character, like, okay, now overall, I can really give a spill. Instead of just giving little synopsis of things like that, I right. can really 
kids this is the what whole I've thing. been through, and right, I can tell right, you, you know right, what I'm saying? Exactly. <laughs> right. Exactly. Okay. So now today you're working on music. Wait, I don't want to jump too far. Okay. okay, wait, let's backtrack a little bit. Mm -hmm. Now, you know, during your time, you've hosted showcases, you've worked with other artists mm -hmm. in the industry. So tell us a little bit about that. Um, well, right now, currently, I'm one of the producers in a show called Original Baddies in NYC. Mm -hmm. Shout out to Cashmere, you know what I'm saying? That's the big CEO. That's the sis, you know, we we working on that. Um, we on season three right now. She also has, uh, I forgot the influence. It, the influence show or whatever that she's working on. Um, I also I did I did a lot of showcases before. I've done theme parties, events, promotion. Um, I done work with artists like big shout out to Sp um, Sporty Thieves, Big Dudes. I love Sporty um, Thieves. Yes. Yeah, I done, I didn't work with a few artists. Um, I can't really get anybody name right. in my head, but uh, I didn't see some things. So I, I just apply it to whatever I do. So whatever I do, I take knowledge from them. Mm -hmm. What I've done. My mistakes and I just keep going. I don't dwell on, oh, I gotta, uh, like, right, nah, I right. keep it going. We learn from that and we exactly. keep it moving. Exactly. So, what is your take on showcases? Is it important to the artist and for us with growth, or, you know, what is what is the benefits of going to showcases in your opinion? Well, I know with my showcases is more of the fun experience. Okay, we all are musicians, of course, we want to perform, blah blah blah, but. It's more of the network phase, right. the more of have fun with it, mm -hmm. you know. And as far as the showcases, period, I feel like it should be like that too, you know. Sometimes, and I want to say this too, I feel with musicians, we have to be better with timing because some of us become prima donnas, you know. I, I can be, you know, but I'm very strict for my time. Okay. I see a lot of artists there not really timely, mm -hmm. and it's like you're not, you're not being, uh, 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 you're not being, you're not being, think, you're not thinking about the next artist that might have come or the show that's presenting it okay. with timing and stuff like that. So Be professional. But, yeah, God, that's the only on thing. Time. But with showcases, just have fun, you know? Right. I mean, I've been to a lot of showcases where you're right. The showcase may open up at 9. There's nobody in the audience. Even the artist is not there yet. Yeah, you got you know, to take like it serious. Two hours gotta, later. You got to take your craft serious. Yeah, I you do. do. If you tell me be there at 9, only reason I'm late is go, be a good reason. But at the end of the day, it's like you got to be mindful for everybody else who's right. behind you and whoever's involved. Right. You know, so I'm big on that because I do showcases and I, and I definitely stress that, you mm -hmm. know, timing, you know. But you're right. They are beneficial because the networking piece, there's mm -hmm. a lot of artists out here that don't have the support. And you never or know you who's paying attention. Have it. Right. And you never know who's going to be there. I know we hear mm -hmm. that a lot. Mm -hmm. Even if there's three people in the room, you still give the same performance as mm -hmm. if it was sold out, booked mm -hmm. and crowded, right? Because mm -hmm. you never know. Mm -hmm. But the thing is, it also helps you with practice. Yes, like some people yes. don't have that stage yes. presence, you know, or know how to move the That's crowd. So you get That's that experience mm -hmm. when you come out exactly. and you go to showcases. Even if it's a showcase, there's three people there. Still, right. Still right. good. Right. You know? And I'm highlighting that because I know that the interest in going to me has dwindled. Yeah. Like I know people are doing events and it's hard for them to find artists that want to come out. Right. That's, and let me look in the camera. Y'all got to learn how to entertain y'all do these showcases, bro. Mm -hmm. As well, if you look at my showcases, I had them on my page, on YouTube. The views might not be crazy because I'm not where I want to be, but honestly, if you look at my showcases, you're going to see it's entertainment. People is, they're engaged. They're, right. you know, it's it's just sometimes, it, it, it depends on the situation, mm -hmm. you know, but for the most part, it's about the entertainment. You got to fill us. Right. You know, you don't want to just, okay, artist, okay, next artist. No, get a comedian. Get somebody to do a little other talent or something like that. Right. You got to be creative. Right. Create a show. <laughs> Period. It's a showcase. Right, right. For you many, know? many talents. Period. Okay. Period. So if you had to drop a jewel on a lesson that you learned throughout your career so far, what's something that, you know, a challenge or something that you've learned that, you know, may have affected you in a positive or negative way? Patience. Patience, okay. Patience. I feel like I didn't have a lot of patience when I was young because I was doing other stuff outside of music that led me away from music and just me not being patient. I felt like if I had to grind now mm -hmm. the way I would have had then mm -hmm. and just been patient, I'd have, you know. Right. But such is life. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, exactly. That's A lot of artists, under. right. It's like, mm -hmm. you know, in the midst of you waiting to get put mm -hmm. on, mm -hmm. still got to eat. 
You know what I'm saying? You still gotta it's live. Part. Yeah, part. you know, you you, can, you don't immediately jump off and live that dream mm -hmm. life and get all his followers and money. You know exactly. that don't happen for everybody. Exactly. So how do you maintain in the meanwhile? Mm. Right, <laughs> right. That's the that's the biggest part of it. Yeah. You know. Yeah. And um, but you know, you made it through, and now mm. you're here today. New project, right? That's a fact. That's a fact. Okay, so what's happening now? Um, yeah. Well, I gotta. I'm gonna definitely drop an EP soon. Okay. Okay. But right now, I'm actually working with my my rhyme partner. His name is Hush Money sixty four. Mm -hmm. You can look. You can look him up on Instagram. Hush the Money real Hush Money sixty four. He's okay. from the Bronx. That's my guy. Um, we we did a mixtape already. It's in all platforms. Um, loved by many, hated by few, respected by all. Okay. Um, we're working on part two. We don't know if we're gonna use the same name or different name, but it's gonna be a banger. I'm so excited because we've been we've been exchanging tracks for the past week. <laughs> okay. And it's, it, it's it's gonna be a monster. I, I know a lot of people be too confident, but I'm very confident in this. This is gonna be like. It's gonna yeah, be you up listen here. to it, you're gonna okay. be like, oh, nah, why these dudes ain't on? Like, okay. You know, so that's what I'm working with. And I'm also, like I said, working on original Baddies in NYC season three coming up. Is that like a web series? Yeah, it's a web I series. It's on that. Starstream Network, I, I believe. Mm -hmm. I apologize for that, I, but I think it's Starstream Network. Um, and yeah, it's, it's fun. It's a vibe. I was actually with the set as well as production, and it, it was. It's, like, it's, it's nothing fake about it. Like, people be talking about it, reality TV is whatever, whatever. That thing is serious. It's real serious. <laughs> so tell us about it a little bit. Like, what is uh, some of the situations y'all dealing with on I the mean, show? Well, I, I do also security, so I'm security in the show too as well. And, you know, it's, it's, it's females basically, it's competition. You know how women are, you know, no disrespect, but you know, women, you know, it's either women empowerment power, power, or... Uh -huh. They trying to tear each other apart. So there's no in-between. There's no in-between right. with them. You know, I don't promote violence or anything, but them girls is willing to do whatever to get seen and heard. So my position really is to give them um, content and um, security, you know? Okay. And a lot of them Make girls sure nobody actually, get hurt. Yeah, and a lot of them <laughs> right. girls are actually talented. They, okay. they, they're good people, so tune in. They, Good personalities, you know. I feel like it's gonna be a vibe. Okay, and this is the, what season? Oh, uh, this is season three that you're on right now. Season three. Yeah. Okay, we gotta check that out. You gotta yeah. send me the link for that I so I can you. check that I out. You. So, are you into production with films as well? So you doing music? You in two different I mean, lanes? I mean, I'm self. I'm self. I'm self. Or how you say? It? Um, I'm self. Uh, I, I taught myself mm -hmm. a lot of things from doing studio to. So even though I need to go to school for these things, I'm actually good at video editing and stuff like that. I'm okay. multi-talented. That's why all I need is a shot. Once right. they let me in, it's over. Okay. It's over. Okay, well, you it. got management team. You know, oh, shout out to the management yeah, team. Yeah, yeah, big shout out to Scene, um, Scene Green Productions. Right, you know? right. That's, 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 that's that squad right there. You know, they, they're a big engine and part of, the, of this machine that I got oiled up. Yes. You know, so I'm, I'm happy for her to be in my life. You know, she's definitely I great. would like to see something with you and Lady Cuts, though. That's my girl. Oh, we working. Oh, yeah, we working. I, you know what I'm we saying? Working. I want to see that. We working. We actually, I'm not going to say nothing, but we're going to do a remix to one of my songs. Okay. I already, is it, I picked the beat just for her. Okay. She, don't, she knows, but... Dot, 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 dot. Dot, dot, dot. You got to connect all that together. <laughs> okay, so when is this EP coming out? Let's talk about um, that. Um, I actually don't have a date because I want to um focus on this mixtape with my with my rhyme partner. Mm -hmm. But it's definitely going to come out. I would I would give it, give and take before the fall. Okay. And then summer, going towards the fall because I want to really do the videos in the summer saga. No, because mm -hmm. it's time to really step up. I've been taking my time. Like I said, I learned my patience. So now I know what I want, how okay. I want it. Right. And everything else is just to press the button. Let's go, go, right? Exactly. 2024, mm -hmm. this summer's going to be crazy. I could already feel it. Mm -hmm. I'm around so many creative people right. doing so many creative things. And it's just like, wow, I'm just, you know, happy to be a part of. Right. You know what I'm saying? That's Sometimes dope. you just got to sit back and just you know, soak all that in, that's right? A, and and see, and position. analyze, right? Yeah. It is dope to be in that position. Because you never position. know who's going to go and then he's on your show first. You know? Like, oh, wow, it was just that my show. That I've is. actually had some actors and some guests on see? the show that have see? really done some really, uh, that that's are, cool. I don't want to say done, mm -hmm. that are doing mm -hmm. some really great things. So mm -hmm. it's all about conversation. Exactly. I've started this 12 years ago and like okay. the highlight for me is to sit down and have conversations to really know who people exactly. are, right? And 
it's to highlight, like I said, positive people doing positive things. I may not ever be a Math Hoffa or Joe Butters, but mm, I'm happy. Guess what? You know right, what I'm saying? Exactly. I'm happy. Exactly. Because the relationships that you build within this game, believe me, it's not Take too many good way. ones. You yeah. know what I'm saying? There's people that's vultures that's out to yeah. eat off you and yeah, all that. So when you that's get a fine. real genuine, come on I'm now, you got to... Right, especially these days. Right, you got to rock with that. Days, yeah. So... This, this generation we in, they moving funny out here. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So how do you avoid the pitfalls that now you see today? We talked about the ones when you was growing up, how, you know, the challenges, you got caught in some of them holes. How do you avoid some of those tricky situations today when you're dealing with all these different people? I, I could say two words, females and family. Oh, we, you keep them close? Not females, but, you know, like, I got a lot of females in my family as well, so mm -hmm. like, the, you know, my lady friend, you know, they, they, you know, and then, uh, uh, what? I'm just look, saying. Look, I have to look. Like. No, I'm, I'm just keeping it a book. Like, right. the women, right. listen, it's, it's, no, it's not being subject, it's this. Women keep you out of trouble. I got sisters, moms. So right. when I say women, it's not all just random women. I'm talking about the women in my life and especially family. I'm big on family, and right. as long as they alive and breathing, they give me purpose. Right. And the females, they 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 actually more in tune with you mm -hmm. than these dudes. And it's not to be sexist or nothing. It's just females see inside like, oh nah, you gonna be something. And they the ones that push you as your right. man on the block, like yo, all right, I listen to your tape later, dog. Like nah. Or oh, they ride with you, but they don't want you to get too higher than them. Nobody though, wants you to get higher you. than them. But <laughs> females, they push you. They want right. you to. Want of to course, they don't even have to be your girlfriend. It's just. Mm -hmm. Is you have a certain light that people gravitate to. I, I know I have a light. I haven't used it as the best of my abilities, but I am now, and I'm appreciating every every bit of it. You know. That's what's up. So. That's what's up. So, what do you hope happens for you going forward? What are some of the things that you would like to see happen for your career, 2024, 2025? Like, what are some of your goals? Just getting my business together. I got the Brown Boy Collective out. Mm -hmm. You know, that's that's my that's my uh, 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 my business. You know, we do a variety of things from entertainment, production, promotion. Okay. So I'm really, I'm really getting on that, getting my team right, mm -hmm. you know, get us, because we different. You know, we we not trying to be the people that we looking at today that's all acting funny. Now, we, this is family. Right. So I'm recreating a family with my family. With your family, and, right. you know, that's that, just pushing it to the top, you know, because they believe in me, and yes. I, I got to keep going. We need that. We definitely need that. Now, how hard or how easy is it for you to promote what you do for social media? Because that's like a whole nother part. I don't care if you're an actor, mm. an artist, mm. and a lot of times we don't have the money to pay for a, a publicist to yeah, be yeah, yeah, online yeah. all day. Yeah, like, yeah. how much time does that really take for you to promote everything that you're doing? Because it's hard. Well, thank God I have a good team so far. I'm trying mm -hmm. to expand, and they've been helping me. So that's been my big thing. I don't. I'm not. I'm not doing it alone. Mm -hmm. I do have a support system. That's good. People be reposting my music. They see it. I have. I have good following. It's just what it is. Is I'm a stand up guy. I'm a leader. So you know, all leaders go through that that love hate relationship with the community. Some right. people they look at you. They jealous. And then some people they they praise you. Mm -hmm. So that's how it how it is with me. You know, mm -hmm. I'm just the I'm the big bro in the town. When I pull up. People know they all right, they secure, they safe. Right. And I keep it like that as the other people looking at it like, oh, what y'all like about him, you know? But it is what it's it is. It's always the naysayers, right. you know? Right. Like, I guess so, we need a balance though, right? It's, it's not easy, <laughs> but it's not hard. It's just, okay. it's, it's, it's doing what it's supposed to, mm -hmm. but it could be better. It could be better. Yeah, I don't know how to get them algorithms. I'm still working on them. We <laughs> all are. We what's all the key? Are. I need right. somebody to come and talk to right. me about what's the secret right. to these algorithms, man. Right. Give me a Microsoft person or somebody. <laughs> somebody reach out to me. Help a sister right. out. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. All right, so videos. Videos. You got some videos you're about to be working on? Ooh. Well, I do and I don't only because I'm so focused on the music first, but the videos is coming. I just got to get the... I'm, I, I'm getting my team together because okay. I want to keep everything in-house. I don't really want to be dealing with too many outsiders because it's always other. Even though you're going to have things within your circle too, but at least you know your circle. So if you're sick today, oh, I got another person I can substitute because it's my team. As the outsiders, you know, it's good to work with them, but you don't really know them, you don't have that connection. Mm -hmm. So it's like, you know, but once I get my in-house good 
and you know, uh, 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 strong, then the videos and everything else will come. All right, so I see 2024, you're gonna be busy. I'm already busy. You busy already, right? <laughs> you got a little bit more things. You're gonna get that team together, yeah. work on them videos and shots and all that. But you know, again, thank you for joining me. I wish you a lot of success in your series that you're doing thank and you. in your music. Thank you know, you. we definitely got to push each other up. That's you okay. know, and, and look out for each other. And I, I see your page very active on social media. Let people know where they can find you and check you out. Yeah, be like Mike. You can catch me on the Instagram. Be like underscore underscore. That's B E E L I K E underscore underscore M I K E. My Facebook is Alexander Brown. You can check me out uh, on iTunes. Be like with Hush Money 64. Put the Hush space Money 64 together. You'll find our music on, on, on iTunes and all platforms. And uh, I got an event coming out next month. Being tuned to that. I have details, details soon. I'll let Deb let y'all know what's going on. I'll okay. keep in contact with her and peace, y'all. Wait, 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 wait. What kind of event? We, 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 I'm pulling up. What, what's going on? <laughs> well, what's it's, um, I don't want to give too much details, but it's going to be something for women. Okay. You know, um, most likely a female concert, but with a little twist of things. Mm -hmm. I'm still working out the kinks. Okay. But I'm working on April 19th. I don't really want to... That's another dot, 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 but okay. hopefully that's the date. <laughs> okay, all right. And I will provide details when everything is set in stone. Okay, y'all, just stay tuned. And we got one more performance coming up, y'all. So check him out. Make sure you follow and support. Again, also follow the show. That's and check fact. out the artists. Give them some comments. Show some love, y'all. Okay, check out this next performance. And, you know, we'll be staying in touch, you know? Thanks, Beth. I appreciate it. Check him out, y'all. Hey, we coming with this one soon, you heard? Bob different, you heard? It's be like, I got hush money on the remix, you heard? So let's go. Huh? Bad bitch in the car, so pretty. Huh? Hey, where I go, I'm litty. What? I said, hey, where I go, is with me. I see y'all, watch my ditty. Uh, Bad bits in and the car so pretty, pretty. pretty. Uh, hey, where I go, I'm litty. Let's go. What? Hey, where what? I go, it's uh, active. Nigga, this morning rapping. rapping. I started on blocks and trapping. These niggas so crazy. I'm snapping, I'm snapping. snapping. But ain't I ain't no joke like rocking. Nah. Niggas spit flames like Dawson. I put hands in the ground like, like an ostrich. Y'all niggas know what's popping. What? Baby, I'm special. You should get next to him. Nigga, you're gone. I just gonna bless you when it get hard. What? Come on, rest, you don't have to address Let's you. go, nah. go. That's why they watch my video. Yeah. You should recall me. Make a video. Yeah. That's how I spoke like, like a Emilio. A couple of plus. What's a pretty up? I see y'all wanna watch, watch my ditty. Uh, I got that bad bitch in the, in the car, so pretty. Uh, uh, anywhere I go, I'm living. Uh, yeah, but anywhere I go, it's with me. I see y'all wanna watch my ditty. Yeah, got a bad girl in the car, so pretty. Anywhere I go, I'm living. What? But anywhere I go, it's good. Bitch show me that fit for me, though. Fuck around, get pop. Like drip on me, like rich on me, but they don't call me Kwon. They call me Brondo. And the game is on, though. Nose niggas in my business, so you fuck niggas. Get the long nose. Push back, have your hand hanging off the back of that at the cornrows. It's on site when it's on go. Fuck a headshot. It's a torso, right? Like a verb, nigga, what? no Oprah, but it's talk show. You sit around, clock niggas all day. You a bozo. I study game, pop pressure now, nigga, ball like, like Clyde Drexler. Find a speed, high as ever. Can't play with it, so it's now never. never. I said. study game, pop pressure now, nigga, ball like, like Clyde Drexler. Find a speed, high as ever. Can't play with it, so it's now, now never. Like, like uh, yeah. See y'all wanna watch my ditty? What? Got a bad girl in the car, so pretty. Anywhere I go, I'm litty. What? What? But anywhere I go, it's with me. I see y'all wanna watch my ditty. Look, uh, bad girl in the car, so pretty. Anywhere I go, I'm litty. Look, anywhere I go, it's with me. Yeah, this be like, man. It's the collective, you heard? Understand this big business right here. They ain't wanna do like me to get on, you heard? They can't stop it. I'm still here, you heard? Hold on. 
see y'all wanna watch my ditty. Shout out to Just Give Me The Mic, huh? Okay. Huh? Let's go. Let's go. Uh huh. Let's go. 